Welcome back guys, it's me, Mr. Frederick, once again. And here we're gonna be talking about the seven times tables and a quick shout out to Ms. Castillo and her class. So we have here the seven times one, seven times two, three, four, all the way to 10, okay? And here I made a box, nine squares, just mark them one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to nine, just like this, and leave a zero in the bottom right corner. Each row, I'm gonna put three different numbers. 0, 1, 2 for the first row, 2, 3, 4 for the second row, and 4, 5, 6 for the third row. Okay? So, let's see. I'm going to put a 0 in front of the 7, the 1 in front of the 4, and the 2 in front of the 1. Okay? Then I'm going to put a 2 in front of the 8, a 3 in front of the 5, and a 4 in front of the 2. And then I'm going to put a 4 in front of the 9, a 5 in front of the 6, and a 6 in front of the 3. And then... The zero, I'll put a seven in front of it. Okay? So we see that the first row has seven, fourteen, twenty-one, which is the same as the first three products of the seven times tables here. Seven times one, two, and three, which is seven, fourteen, twenty-one. Then for the second row, we see that we have twenty-eight, thirty-five, and forty-two, which matches twenty-eight for seven times four, seven times five. 7 times 6 over here. Okay? See the connection? And then the last row, 49, 56, and 63, they match 7 times 7, 7 times 8, and 7 times 9 times tables right here. Okay? And then, of course, 7 times 10 is 70 is the 70 that we see over here as well. Okay? So that's a simpler way to understand the times tables so that you could understand it in a simpler way but also in a faster way. Okay, um, stay tuned for the next video which I'm going to be making, which is the eight times tables. This is Mr. Frederick, out.